the first sliver versus Animar Soul of Elements. The game has started. The client was being a bit weird, so just decided to get the game going straight away and not leave my opponent waiting any longer. Uh, yeah, Celestia Signet will get us into White Manor, and we are at Wooburg then, so I think it is... We can't do Nature's Law and Celestia Signet, can we? No, we'll do the Signet first. A Vivian's Arc Bow for our opponent. I don't think I've picked that up yet. I must remember to grab that, because it is a good card. Celestia Signet, and then over to Animar, Soul of Elements, a Teema, 1-1. One, one. Pro, white, and black. Whenever you cast a creature spell, put a plus counter on it. And creature spells you cast cost a generic less to cast per plus counter on it. And ours is really simple. The first sliver. Five mana in all five colours for a 7-7 seven, seven with Cascade. And it gives all of our sliver spells Cascade. Uh, let's get down some black. And then we can go into Nature's Law. And then Blur Sliver is okay, I think. So in that case, it'll have to be red. And the Blur Sliver will give slivers we control haste. And if we're getting down our commander next turn, then hopefully we'll cascade into a sliver and they'll both have haste. A Gate Creeper Vine, that's just a nice cheap creature for our opponent. Search your library for a basic or a gate. And put it into your hand, they've gone for an island. And then Animar is swinging in. I imagine this Gate Creeper Vine is going to be blocking the first sliver, if first sliver even gets into play, that is. We'll leave white back for swords to plowshares. And yeah, there's another sliver. So Vigilance and Haste is really good because it means we can swing in straight away with no drawback whatsoever. Uh, do we want to guarantee 7 damage here? No, we'll let our opponent jump block. Because we don't know what they're going to be getting down. And we might wish that we'd kept the Swords to Plowshares around. Okay, tapping a lot of mana and going for Grun the Lonely King. Not going for the kicker cost, thankfully. And that is a 5-5. Five five. When it attacks alone, double its power and toughness until the end of the turn. Luckily, it doesn't have a bunch of plus counters on it, like we said. It would have entered with plus counters had it been kicked. Alright, now deciding to leave Animar back. Uh, so I think we go for plowshares onto this so that we can swing in with the first sliver. Although, having said that, yeah, the first sliver is all colours, isn't it? So at this point, we really need some evasion. Let's get this land down. And try and cascade into something that gives us evasion. Huh. <laughs> exactly what I was thinking of. That's lucky. And the Gale Rider Sliver will cascade us as well. So that will take us into Mana Crypt, I think, is the only thing we can get. Okay, I didn't know that our opponent was a friend of the channel. So, Puke Skywalker, let yourself be known in the comments section. That was a pretty lucky cascade off the Crystalline Sliver into Gale Rider. Um, we would have been hitting our opponent for, what, 3, 10, uh, 14 damage. And then probably, well, let's see what we would have drawn into. No, we would have just gotten into a land, so we wouldn't have been hitting our opponent for lethal next turn, but pretty close to it. And that's exactly the type of start that we want with this deck. Ramp really quickly, get into Wooburg as fast as possible. And then get a load of damage on our opponent. Hopefully you all enjoyed that one. I dare say you're going to see another one now. The first sliver. Versus Selvala Heart of the Wilds. Very good deck this one. So we'll have to keep our fingers crossed that we can get something going. We'll be able to get three mana into Harrow. Thanks to that Signet. So yeah, hopefully this guy's cradle doesn't let us down too much this game. And some early ramp for our opponent. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I would have used the swords on that anyway, but just so happens we don't have the white mana. So we couldn't do that if we wanted to. Just hold up Harrow next turn. 
All right, that's good. That puts us in all of our colours almost. Yeah, so we'll just hold up Harrow here. Uh, actually, no. Instead of letting our opponent untap, let's go for Swords on the Salvala. And then we can just go for Harrow now. Doesn't really matter if we do it on our opponent's turn or not. We'll go for a white and a blue. Hold up Cyclonic Rift. Probably not going to use it. Okay, there's an Omnath. And I say we just bounce the Omnath so that they can't start storing mana. Okay, there's an exotic orchard that will produce a land of any colour that an opponent controls. So that's green in this match. Let's see if we can switch on Guy's Cradle. We need double blue really so that we can get into Time Spiral. I don't mind a Time Spiral if our opponent's got a full grip. Okay, Demonic Tutor. Ah, uh, what do we want to get with Demonic Tutor? I mean, do we just want to get another blue land here? We could go for a card draw sliver. No, I say we go for a really boring command tower, actually. So let's get down the command tower and pass it over to our opponent. Just really wanted to guarantee being able to get down time spiral next turn. Okay, beast within. On to our commander. Might just be replaying our commander then. In that case, let's get down the guy's cradle. And at least we get another cascade now. Hopefully, well I was going to say, hopefully we get into another sliver, but we don't. That keeps our guy's cradle online at least though. Even if our opponent gets rid of all our creatures, we'll still be able to tap the guy's cradle. Now for any colour of mana, because it has every basic land type. And it's not worthy that our opponent's missing land drops, so getting rid of that Selvala has been really good. They're just aiming to keep hold of mana with Omnath so that they can use that to get their commander again next turn. But I think we've been too fast for our opponent this game. Let's go in for this big sliver and hopefully we can get into something really good with that. Cascade, this gives our slivers plus three plus three. That is a Vigilance Enabler. We had that last game but it'll cascade again. Okay, Vampiric Tutor. Maybe we just go in for some evasion here. Yeah, we'll get the Gale Rider. Alright, and our opponent doesn't like that. We've just been too fast for them. Next turn we'll be getting the Gale Rider Sliver into play and we'll be hitting our opponent for another 10, assuming that they let this one through. Looks like they were just looking at blocking with Omnath, but if they do that they'll lose their mana and they won't be able to get into Salvala again next turn unless they rip into a land. So getting rid of our opponent's commander was really, really good there because they weren't lucky enough to get into that fifth mana they needed, their fourth land. And we weren't about to give it to them with Time Spiral. As long as I had things to do, I wasn't desperate to cast Time Spiral, but I'm not completely against it if we want to cast a load of slivers whilst our commander's in play. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed that. Another first sliver game. I'm Travel Kai on the EDH channel. Thank you for watching.